Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we do. You got anything going on? No. Yeah, me either. We totally, totally like whiffed it on 4th of July. An episode came out on 4th of July and we didn't even <laughs> yeah, We did say it. one thing. And we were also supposed to record on 4th of July and we didn't. <laughs> Man, dang. Well, we'll get them next time. Yep. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like we're in like a streak right now and I'm mad. What's up? East Weldham. East Weldham is a village in East the East Hampshire district of Hampshire. <laughs> well, the problem with England is they have like a hundred thousand little shitty towns. And because each one is on a different bend of a river, so it gets a new name. And they've all been around for four thousand years. Yeah. Uh, it's 1.9 miles. Hell yeah. 1.9. What is it? Is it a town? It's 1.9 miles east oh. of Alton and 1.9 miles southwest of Wick. <laughs> Hartley Moddit and West Worldham are nearby. I mean, which along with East Worldham from the parish of Worldham. That's form my, the parish of Worldham. That was my least favorite summer vacation. The village is just east of the A31 road. They name their roads real weird. Yeah, I never understood what the, how they work or what they mean. I mean, I guess ours are exactly as weird. I95. Well, they're numbered. The first one was one. The second one was two. This is A34. What, it did, were they numbered like that? No, I have no idea. I don't know. I mean, it couldn't have been arbitrary. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eisenhower, and I like this highway. I'm going to name it my favorite number, 44. 44. 40, he didn't know numbers so good. Um. <sighs> yeah, I don't fucking know. these English people, man. Well, you, you, it's interesting. You can always tell when like a city or a town is from instantly. Yeah, if it's English or American, like American suffixes will be like burg or ville or town. Pretty simple, I think. Yeah, you know, and English ones are ham, ham for sure. Um, That's it, I think. It's just hams, a lot of hams. Uh. Shire. Shire. Sure. God. Boro? B O R O? Not not like Burr. Uh, sure, but like Boro. Edinburgh, but Burr. Yeah. yeah, right. Why why is that? Why do we get and they all mean essentially the same thing, like place. So why do we take like some places and and they took the other places? Is it I mean it probably has to do with like how what, population size maybe? Not population size. I think it's probably like in England it all comes from like weird old like I don't know what the fuck was in England before like they spoke English but like Druids and shit. Okay. And we have a lot of like Native American names especially up in like the Northeast oh, that's definitely and in the true. Southeast. Yeah. And then maybe there was also like more influence from like Dutch and mm. German in the United States because of, like yeah, That's interesting. That's, yeah like, like Hamburg. Yeah. Oh, man. I think you just cracked the code. Well, That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't have any other, like, bases of reference for any other countries or what, what they do or how Me they neither. do things. So that's that's too bad right there. There goes the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of roads, I really want to do, and I think I think we might at some point do, like, Route 66. Because it starts right here, baby. It starts right here. So, yeah, like, how could you not? And does it end in California? Yeah. Then you, just, then you just fly back. Pretty tight. You fly back. Yeah. Just up, drive your car into the ocean. Well, you rent a, you rent a car. You drive. Because. Yeah. You, you want to rent like a convertible, convertible or something. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I don't want to drive all the way back. Would you also just listen to like 50s songs? Um, I would only listen to. Route 66. Yeah. <laughs> God. That would be so funny, though. <laughs> would You would go insane. Like, how long would that drive take? Like. Two weeks, yeah. like to do it properly. Yeah, the, you know? the, I mean, the first like the first time through the song though would be like hell yeah, right, right. The even even through the, se- second, the second, you still time? be laughing. I think just on the third, yeah, you'd be like, okay, we're we're in for the long haul now, huh? How? What song do you think that you could listen to on repeat the most before you went like crazy? Well, it would need to be a song that doesn't have either doesn't have lyrics, so you would just it would just. Happen in the background that you won't even realize what's happening. Like, or Philip Glass would be real good. Yeah, exactly. Like, Some like minimalistic. Yeah, but the first time I ever did a um, 
a power hour, we listened to... So the, the way power hour works is every minute for an hour, you take a shot of beer. That's how it works. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times when we were doing it, at least, we had this um, this program where like the song would change every minute to like signify like this is when you do it this is when you do it but we were using uh, around the world by uh, daft punk and we could never tell like when the song started or ended or finished like, so around the world might be my choice like you just wouldn't realize you've been listening to it for four hours straight that's a i love that song yeah. and i love that it is just like so repetitive so simple i was thinking maybe like a really long song that has a lot of like Variation because it's kind of like cheating. Like you get a few. Oh, okay. That's what you're just saying. So you you'd take like a track two from American Idiot, uh, Jesus of Suburbia, the 11 minute. I mean, sure. Rock opera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, there's like, uh, what's that song? Not uh, not Bohemian Rhapsody. No, but something terrible. But something like what's that. The, where there's it, a like, Wings song that's like that. Uh, Uncle Albert, Admiral Halsey. I don't know what that one is. That's you a, know the wing. You know Wings. That's more than a I very do. fun song because it's very goofy. B- uh, Band on the Run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang that my, uh, that's a very good song. I like that song a lot. But I don't know if I could listen to it for h- how long are we saying? Uh, like until, minimum ten hours a day for two weeks. No, nonstop <laughs> until you can't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> so at the end of the experiment, do you do you just die from like overexposure? Like what's the like eventually I'm just going to die from the song or am I just trying to live my life with it constantly in my head? You're just trying to like live, going crazy. live your life and do stuff, but it's just like always, but you know, you always got headphones in or something right. or like if you're driving, you're just listening to it. What do you think would happen? Like, would you actually go crazy if you, if you could just do your normal life and it was just always on, it was just on like two or three volume, you know, like in your ear, like the rest of the world was like a 10 and it was just like a two or three. You could just always hear it. I don't know because there are people who have like tinnitus who mm-hmm. just always hear ringing in their ears. And just they just like yeah, just live with. I it. mean, I th- I think some people are like kind of go a little loopy, and I think some people deal with it. Man. So I think it just depends on the person. I mean, what would be the, what would be like the worst song? Without getting into like stupid territory, like like oh uh, yeah, you know, industrial, you know, um, grind house core. Like, would it would it be? Because they use that for torture sometimes, you know. Yeah. Like, what was it in Walking Dead? They, um. Oh, yeah. We're living on Easy Street. Yeah. I don't even know if that would be that bad. I mean, that was. I think the thing about that is it's like so cheery, but you're so miserable. Right. So it's yeah. like. Uh, so in Dragon Ball Super, Frieza goes to hell, and his hell is being surrounded by cute stuff. It's exactly that. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um,. Gosh, I don't know. It's probably something like, and the thing is, obviously, I could pick like a bad song. I don't want to pick a bad that, song. Girl, I'm trying to think of like the a fun answer to it, but it's hard. What if it was just um, spooky sound effects, <laughs> like the spooky sound effects CD <laughs> that you would get from like you know Walmart? <laughs> just like 25 minutes of like uh, chain rattling, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cats like wow, like cats fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sound of fog somehow. Yeah, <laughs> test tubes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like rattling bones, and <laughs> I would love to find one of those CDs. Or do you think there's like a Spotify Rich, spooky sounds? Rich gave me for our housewarming. He gave me a vinyl that was like, it was like spooky. Um, oh, I don't even know what it's called, but like spooky sort of um soundscapes. So at the <laughs> beginning of each one, it's like. You imagine yourself entering a haunted mansion, <laughs> and it like sets the scene, and okay. then the sound effect just like plays. So it's like a so it's sort of like a mind palace, sort yes. of like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just lay down in your recliner, turn the lights off, and spook out. Yeah, tune in, turn up, spook out. <laughs> uh, have you listened to the whole thing yet? Yeah, it's great. What if maybe that? Maybe that's the choice. You just listen to. A wonderful, soothing, you know, Bob Ross-esque. I feel like I could listen to Spooky Scary Skeletons, like, a lot. Uh, yes, the original, like, Spooky Scary. Yeah. yeah. Cause, it, I mean, there are YouTube videos. There, like, there are lots of YouTube videos. It's like, whatever song for 10 hours. Right, right. And I've, I've listened to... There are a few that I've just, like, put on and <laughs> listened to. You know, there was... um. Though in in college there was this I mean I'm sure it still exists but there was like a flash video and it was um I forget who made it but 
it was a guy on a horse and it just loops and it's like look at my yeah. horse my horse is amazing it was yeah that same guy did a bunch of stuff like, yeah and yeah they, and, and all the songs are like that and they all loop mm-hmm. and i listened to that it one wasn't on weeble wobble was it he he was up in the mix around the maybe same, like he's the same kind of guy but i listened to that on loop for like a long time i can see that that makes sense like it's it's kind of catchy, but also like not crazy, and it's kind of droning, so you mm-hmm. can like tune it out and then like tune back in whenever you want. Whenever you want to, yeah. Check out what's going on with the source. So it's amazing. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah. I was trying to teach myself how to program a little while ago, a few years ago now, I guess. And yeah, I would just put on Daft Punk like a lot of 2007, and just like just go to town. So that, like, that probably made you feel like a real hacker. It really did. I felt very lame. But I was like, yeah, we're doing it now, man. Did like, you put on like fingerless gloves? No, I didn't do it. I didn't take it that far. I was like, I was, like at work doing it. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely was like, yeah, this is how you make, uh, you know, text bold. <laughs> like, you're like, not acting like even close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned like, maybe like, what even would be the step after HTML? Like, I don't even know if I got that far. Colon slash, no, that's HTTP. Fuck, bad joke. <laughs> I remember like CSS maybe or JavaScript or something like CSS Lewis. Mm -hmm. I remember in like elementary school, my friend Matt got a book that was HTML in a nutshell, Uh and he because we made like our Pokemon sites on Angel Fire, and he was which I still don't know how you do that. Can you do that now? What like make a website? I don't know how to make a website. Oh yeah, like in my head you have to go to like what's that? What's that website that uh, everyone uses? WordPress. Yeah, like that. I mean, you can't. Yeah, I mean, that's what most people. Is do. that how you do it? Is that what Angel Fire was? Basically, I've, I've never known I mean, how to make a website. I mean, it wasn't that, but it was basically that. Okay. On Angel Fire, it was like you. It was just a page. You couldn't really like, <laughs> if I remember correctly, you couldn't super link to stuff easily. But Matt <laughs> could because he had HTML yeah. in a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like how would you do that? Like, is it a program that you or like? What is it like? An, I mean, if you're making a real website, yeah. you do all of the coding and stuff. But, but most, like, how? Where do you? <laughs> you fucking can't, know. I'm not a. I'm not. <laughs> you're not that. a hacker. <laughs> but like, and, do you just go to like you know? You just go to squarespace.com. But uh, <laughs> squarespace.com, you say? <laughs> what a segue! <laughs> but you, do you understand? Speaking what I'm saying? of segues, like, yeah, the new scooter that's sweeping the nation, <laughs> like. How do you make a website like without using Squarespace or whatever? Like, you ha- is there is there another way? Do you have to use one of those websites? Do you have to use a website to make your own website? What, like, let's say you what and are I you want asking me. So let's say you and I want to make a, a web page for Razor Scooter. Okay, we go to Squarespace.com. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, and we buy Razor Scooters. You, is cool. that how you have to do it? No, you can register the domain. And then how do you do that? Do you go to like? I mean, you can go fucking anywhere. You go to GoDaddy. You go to Google Domains, which I did when I bought twithim.com. <laughs> Visit twithim.com. So stupid. Um, so be, let's say let's jump back to like 1995, right? Okay. How would you? It, were, were there things like GoDaddy that you would buy websites from? In yeah. The, okay. And then how did people find out about this stuff, man? I don't know. They went to a website. That's what I'm saying. Like in 1995, you would, <laughs> you'd have to find a website from another. Like but it's then crazy. If, if you want to like host, you have to like host a website so you can. There are places that'll host a website, or you can like have your own server and host sure. it yourself. So let's say we go to GoDaddy, we, we buy RazorScooter dot com. Okay, that's crazy that it's not taken, but sure. And we and then we just have like this page. Like, so how do we? Well, then we have RazorScooter dot com. Then you just select where you want it to be directed. Well, you want to go to RazorScooter dot com. Well, you need to ch- select what you want it to sh- display. So, do you have like a program or something on your computer that you create like a website and then you upload it or something? Basically, yeah. Okay. This is wild, dude. Like, I don't understand. This is crazy. I've never, I've never known. Um, but also, that's why everyone just goes to Squarespace. Yeah, right. It's way, it's way simpler. Um, so, you know, simple drag and drop tools. Right. And if you go to Squarespace, Squarespace, <laughs> Squarespace dot com slash stupid bullshit promo, you can get your first Squarespace website free. Uh, and they'll actually pay you. Just uh, type in. <laughs> Type in, in, in patreon.com slash arcade audio. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever get uh, advertisers? If mm. yeah, if you want to advertise on our show, tweet us <laughs> at Dilettant Ball, D I L E T T A N T E B A L L, hashtag Madman. 
<laughs> yeah, because you'd have to be a madman to advertise with us. Um, what do you think some advertisers would be? What would be some good advertisers for our like uh, listener base? Like, um, uh, well, Spirit Halloween stores. Are there a, a specific? Yeah, Spirit. Those are like the ones that pop up in okay. closed down books and millions and stuff. <laughs> right, right, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Which is kind of in, that's kind of like a fun thing, right? Like, there, there was a it's sort of like a haunted. You know, there was um, a bar in Wrigleyville that closed. I think this was last year. It's a Starbucks now. It's a very f- cool Starbucks. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but that was like a spirit store. Oh, uh, okay. And it was it was very cool because it was like in a fucking bar. Yeah. Well, it's you know it's sort of like they're possessing the the body of a you know the husk of a yeah right. It's like some business. weird necromantic like. There was a um th- sometimes b- bookstores will do that too. I remember when I was a kid, some like like a pop up bookstore sort of. Yeah, I forget what closed, like a Marshall Home Goods or something closed and then a bookstore just opened and it was all like weird sort of um not popular <laughs> books like knockoff <laughs> books like it'd like be like the snakes on a train of books yeah it'd be like the little mermaid but not the disney little mermaid it would just be like a little mermaid yeah i mean that that is like a fairy tale that they base it off of but now it's like okay you want the you want the fucking little mermaid right, right. the little mermaid oh, but it'd be like asriel the little mermaid <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I, I got, I got a book. I don't know if it's in here actually, but, um, a book about the Beatles okay. and like where, um, it sort of really broke down the actual authorship of all the songs. Oh, Cause cool. you know, they're all like Lennon McCartney, right? but it broke it down like, well, this is mostly actually John Lennon okay. and, and like it sourced it and had like a lot oh, okay. of excerpts from like the, the Playboy interviews and stuff like That's that. That's cool. It was super cool. So it wasn't just a book of songs and then <laughs> so like, please, please me. Mostly McCartney. Uh, <laughs> no. And it, and it broke down like the instrumentation really specifically and like who played what it was. Oh, it's really cool. cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of like the inspiration for the songs. Um, Do you think there are books and, and stuff like that for a lot of bands? Um, Like, it's easy to 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 know somebody who's like very into the Beatles and have Beatles, Beatles books. Some bands, I bet. Yeah, Jimmy but it's like, oh man, I I love Offspring so much, man. Have you seen this book on like the breakdown of all the Offspring songs? Probably not Offspring. Smashing Pumpkins, I could see. Yeah, maybe like Chili Peppers, maybe. Do you are you have one? Um, Jessica got that book for me as a joke, and it's very funny. It's called, uh, what is it called? Fandemonium. And it's just like about hardcore Red Hot Chili Peppers fans. <laughs> oh, so it's a book about the fans. Yeah, I, it's I prefer that. Very funny. Um, like I don't care about documentaries about ICP. I care about documentaries about Juggalos. Juggalos. Yeah. Um. Then the other book that I got was written by like a writer of the Onion from fucking twenty years ago. Sure. But it was a book of him making crank phone calls. So it was just transcripts of. <laughs> Crank phone call. Wow, that sounds like the most like like 1990 thing of all time. Yeah, and I was very into it. It was called Tough Call. Man, crank calls suck real, yes. real bad. Yes. Um, I who are they for? Like, first of all, you probably had to be like 12. Yeah. In like 85, maybe. Because once there's once there's caller ID, you're done. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. What was, do you? Because the Jerky Boys were huge, and that was like their whole shtick, right? Yeah. Uh, and then there's like that that John Cena one that's pretty funny from the radio. John Cena one's very funny. But then a lot of them are just like mean. I don't know. I, there's, yeah, I know what you like. Yeah. I don't love like using people as like the butt of a joke. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Yeah, anytime there's like um. Like the next evolution of that now is YouTube videos mm-hmm. that are like it's just a prank. Like, it's just a prank. I steal your phone and then you freak out. And it's like it's just a prank. Well, right? No, you fucking still stole my phone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you can't come up to me acting like you're going to attack me, and that's the prank. That's I hate that obviously, but that feels different than crank phone calls, and I don't know why. Because those are like, well, hey, you, you need swampy butts. <laughs> <laughs> like, you yeah, know, right. I don't know. Right, right. It just well, even, feels different. I mean, even the meanest crank call. Could never be as, mm. ma'am. This is well. This is the, the, this is the ambulance driver. You're, we hit your husband with our ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean for sure, right? But I, I mean, at the very, at the very, it's just never, never any like actual physical harm that could happen. Sure, unless It'd you have a heart, like mental. My attack. husband, <gasps> you have a heart attack and die. Sure, I mean that's possible. That is possible. You're not wrong. 
then there were there were man a local radio station back home used to do this thing where they would uh get cheaters yeah yeah you know those are all fake right are they yeah i mean maybe one or two here and there maybe i guess but yeah because apparently the fcc like you you can't let me be let me be me on Uh, mtv yeah (laughs) yeah i got you um but yeah because it's it's you know live or whatever so you can't Ah, interesting. Yeah, like who I, knows what they'll say. I always assumed that local radio stations just don't fucking ca- like they can like sort of glide under. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I, from what I understand, every single person that well, not every person, but like anyone who's like, um, like let's say you listen to a morning program and it's like, oh boy, here, here we go, we got Crazy Becky on the line. All right, Crazy Becky, what do you guys say? That's always just like. A radio personality Or like someone who's in on it Interesting What if I mean Like all the characters So to but speak what about like Call-in shows Like real call-in shows Like a Dr. Drew Love line yeah. sort of thing That one Those are probably real I mean Obviously they screen people Beforehand Right right And they're probably on Maybe a six second delay Or something uh, Yeah I, th- I think they are For sure um, No I'm, I'm just speaking Specifically about like You know uh, Like You know like Oh this weirdo Calls in every week You know and Sure Like that kind of a thing You know like, yeah. Dumpy Dan. Yeah, yeah here's, here's Dumpy Dan. Yeah, here's Dumpy Dan with a little dump report. Well, sure, like, sure. <laughs> thanks, oh, Dumpy, thanks Dan. Dumpy Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's all, it's all fake. It's all like, sure. Know. I mean, but not. Uh, yeah, everything's fake. fake. I, I got nothing against it. Like, um, is it entertaining? That's all I care about. Yeah. Well, yeah. those those cheater things were not. Yeah, they they seem mean spirited. Uh, but that being said, they are. <laughs> well, some people love that kind of shit. You know, it's the same reason people read tabloids or anything. Yeah. You know. I'm above it. I'm just trying to be a nice. I'm just trying to be a nice boy. Yeah. What would be a nice version of like the cheater thing? Like it turns where they're out, not cheating and you just yeah, get free flowers. I, That's it. Exactly. That's the nice version. Exactly. <laughs> I miss Neko Atsume. That's what I'm, yeah. I need to get back on that. Now that I know that the was like a a real flash in the pan. I don't know. It lasts like a month. Thank you for playing arcade audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.